Do you eat when you're stressed? Do you eat when you're bored? Some people it's the sweets, some people it's overeating in general. This is not about you and the carbs. This is not about you and the donuts, you and the overeating, you and the late night snacking. It's not about that anymore. But what does that mean and, and why? If we find out why, why are we doing this? Ask yourself the next time you're doing that, is it really necessary to do that? And the weight will just melt off. I'm telling you, it is incredible. Yes. And when it comes to uh, the mind, uh, when it comes to eating, I should say, or weight loss, we play tricks on ourselves with the mind, don't we? With our minds. Yes, and I think... And we come up with all these reasons for eating. Why We justify eating. We do, and it, I think, if anything, you know, in the mental sphere has more to do with gaining weight um, than anything else. So as much as we know that calories in, calories out, that's, that's an old, mis outdated way of looking at, at weight loss. We know from science now that insulin has a huge part in this. The fasting, the autophagy has a lot to do with being able to get that weight off and keep it off. But I have to say that most times this has a huge, huge emotional component. And why are we eating? Why are we overeating? Why do we gravitate towards certain foods? Why do we feel good when we eat certain foods? Like this, some people it's the sweets, some people it's overeating in general. You feel good, but what does that mean and, and why? If we find out why, why are we doing this? Maybe we're eating in secret. So some people, you know, when nobody's watching, they go to the fridge and they they binge eat on, on things that they know that they shouldn't, even healthy foods. So some people overeat even healthy foods. Why, why do people do this? And if we figure out the why, why we're doing this, and that's that's my whole message, figure out the why. What is it about food? What is your relationship with food? Yeah. Why, why do you eat when you're stressed? Do you eat when you're bored? Maybe you're feeling lonely or isolated. You know, is this a comfort food? Is this something that there's a reason why? And figure out the why, and then it can become very easy then to help yourself and to really ask yourself the next time you're doing that, is it really necessary to do that? So. This can go to the other extreme as well, sure. Norm, and it could be something called orthorexia. And some people are obsessively healthy. I mean, I, I look and I, I, you know, do some investigation online and on social media, and I look at the groups that exist about, you know, different types of dieting and sure. people that are super fit and getting, I think it's all about balance. And I think if you're going to an extreme with your diet or with your exercise that is not making you a happy, healthy, well-rounded person. If it becomes extreme, yes, your body could look A1, you're ripped and you're, you're this, that, and the other yeah. thing, you look fantastic, but are you really healthy on the inside? Sometimes this orthorexia and going extreme with the healthy eating and you know whatever diet that is, and you're limiting yourself in your social environments, is, is that really healthy? You have to ask yourself. And, and I think, no, I think life is all about balance when it comes to weight loss as well. Yes, we have to you know, use some of the tips that we talk about in, in the show, but it's gotta be well balanced. And you know, for myself who, you know, I've, I've gained and lost, have four pre healthy babies, pregnancies, gained and lost weight over the years, um, and, and struggled with weight you know, before, I, before I got married and things. I've been through it all emotionally right. and, I, and I know that that's a huge component with with trying to lose weight but figuring out the why and that's that's you the know why. I guess some people you, you talk about emotional eating a moment ago too some people yeah. eat when they're happy some people eat when they're not happy yes and sometimes you're not happy because you feel you've had an exorbitant amount of weight gain which makes it worse exactly. right exactly and that's that's the whole you know double edged sword because and that's why it's so emotionally connected and then you tie some which we talked about earlier in this hour you you throw some sugar on that then that we have a whole other, you know, because the sugar is so addictive and you're spiking your insulin and this whole roller coaster that's going on. So we really have to have this, you know, natural ability to sort of tune into 
the why and once we figure that out you know it can really go a long way so I've got you know some tips about how to do this. I learned a lot personally and I hope you did too for the men in your life and that reminds me to remind you to leave your questions and comments uh, in the comments section below. Dr. Janine is online to answer your questions during the show and don't forget to like subscribe and click that bell so you can get notifications of the next shows coming up.